Greetings everybody, my name is Tommy the Keyblade Master and welcome to my channel. Now in this video I'm going to be doing my usual Wii Virtual Console Roundup plus talking about digital sales. I'm sorry this is a little late tonight. I just got a brand new computer and I spent most of the day transferring files over and configuring it to my liking. Windows 10 does not have an easy transfer tool like previous versions of Windows, unfortunately. So that took a little bit of time. Anyways, the two new Virtual Console games this week are Sin and Punishment and Sin and Punishment Star Destroyer. I have not tried Cinnamon Punishment Star Destroyer, and the only reason why I didn't go out and download it this week is because I lack $20 and Nintendo lacks a hard drive and I do not have enough memory on my 32 gigabit Wii U. Yeah, Nintendo, I don't know what it is with your fear about hard drives, but you need to start putting them in your console if you plan on selling anything digital. It's a major setback, and before any Nintendo fanboy calls out, yes, I know you can go out and buy a portable hard drive. Yes, I know it doesn't cost much money to get one or two terabits worth of data. However, that's an extra thing sitting next to my cabinet full of game consoles, and an extra thing I've got to plug in. Nintendo should have put an internal hard drive into their Wii U. 100 gigabits would not be too much to ask for at all, especially if you are any type of hardcore gamer. But anyways, enough of my rant about Nintendo. Let's check out Sin and Punishments. And it's a really great game for the N64. Released back in 2000 in Japan, it never saw the light of day stateside, even though rumors had it they were planning on releasing it here. It did already have English vocals after all, but this came out really late in the N64 lifespan. And let's face it, Sin and Punishment's story is a little weird. Don't ask me to tell you what it's about, because it's really just Japanese malarkey, to put it kindly. And yes, the visuals do look like crap, especially the character designs. However, once you get past that, and once you've customized the Wii U controls to be comfortable, you got yourself an incredibly fun action shooter game that's hard as heck, but still fair. And even though it only lasts a couple of hours, it's a game that you want to replay through a few times. So it's definitely worth the 10 or $12 asking price. It's definitely a fun game, and it's made by the same people who made the classic Contras, folks. Definitely check out Sin and Punishment. As far as digital sales go, um, on the PS3, we got the, quote, retro sales. And they really need to put that in quotations, because there's not a lot of games on there that I consider retro. But still, um, you have the Mega Man 9 and 10 bundled drastically marked down. You got Street Fighter HD Remix half off, and you got a few dollars off the Misadventures of Trombon. Definitely worth checking out those games if you're looking for a cheap buy. Anyways, this is Tommy the Keyblade Master signing out, and I would like to ask you for a few moments to subscribe. I do this type of video once every week, just uh, talking about what's new on the virtual console and what's new on some sales I might have found out that I might recommend. I try to find games that not everyone has played or games that are a really good deal discounted on each system when they come out. Anyways, I'll see you guys later.